Hi everyone. So a lot of you have been asking how I make my bird nest and it's not complicated. I just take some soap dough and I roughly measure, I don't know, this much. It's, it's hard for me to give some of these tutorials because I just kind of look at it and it's how much I just think I need. And then all I do is I kind of loop it around and take out the lint that my linty life has given it. And I loop it here and I want to kind of end it. So like the little extra bits, I kind of weave them back the other way. So they look more natural like sticks like so. And then I take the tail of it and I put it on the bottom. I tuck my finger, a finger, doesn't matter which finger, just try to use the same finger throughout. And I kind of just pinch in the bottom like so. I'm trying to leave the top alone because I want that to look very nest-like. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's how I do it. So it doesn't take me very long. I know a lot of you thought like I took forever to make those nests. Um, that's, this is all real time. That's raw footage. I'm not, speeding it up or talking over. Um, so it doesn't, doesn't take me very long and it's a nice look. I think it looks interesting. And I learned all of this, uh, mostly thanks to B at Sorcery Soap. Um, I'm not sure if she does a nest tutorial, but I wouldn't be surprised if she did cause she's amazing. And, uh, this is all Sorcery Soap dough. So it's all her work and I, I love it. And I think it's, I think it just makes a nice, interesting part of the soap, especially when I'm not shutting into it. God bless. Sorry. It's a, uh, apparently a day for me to have lint on my soap. Anyway, so there's another nest and yeah, so I'm just going to finish making a whole sheet of these and that's how I did it. So thanks for watching. All right. So a few of you asked for a more detailed video on the eggs. So all I've done is I've just taken some soap dough that I've kind of balled up and made roughly the same size. Uh, I would like to tell you I have weighed each of these or something fancy. I have not. It's just, I don't know, I pick it up and in my fingers and if it feels about the same size as the other one, it, it works. If not, then I find another one. Um, a lot of this is real um, kinetic intelligence, I guess. And, um, so then I just grab a couple that are roughly the same color. I've mixed a bunch of different blues to get this blue. Um, that one's too small. And then once it's round, I just take my pointer finger and my thumb and I just kind of gently make a cone with it. So it has that nice, slightly rounded egg shape. And so those are our three eggs. And then I take a nest. This is just distilled water and a paintbrush. And Apparently it's got a little bit of activated charcoal on it. That's fine. Um, and so I just paint the nest and make sure it's wet. And then I take an egg and I put it in with the fat end down. And I try to kind of encourage it to point up if I can. Sometimes they won't if you don't have their little friends in there. So there we go. And now that all three are in there, you can kind of mess with it a little bit. So they all sit in there straight and I take a little bit more distilled water and I just kind of tap around it. And all that does is it helps glue everybody together. So when the soap gets moved, you know, it's not, the eggs aren't falling out. You want your eggs to stay in your basket, so to speak. So yeah. So then I'll just repeat the same process. Um, I, my blues are a little bit different, so I'm having to kind of pay attention to which Blue, like you can see that one's a little darker than this one. So I want to find a slightly darker blue. So it matches the first one. Um, and I, I don't think it really matters. It's more just my, uh, artistic obsessive brain that wants it all to match. Um, I just didn't do a very good job of blending these blues together when I, when I made the blend. Um, so if you use the same color blue, you won't have this problem. Um, but that's just how, uh, how my brain works. So again, I got the nest. A little bit of water and we add our little eggs in. The other thing about the water after you put the eggs in is water helps soap dough shine a little bit. So I'm a huge fan of taking whatever I've made with soap dough and smoothing it down a little bit 
and adding some water, pop that in there. Uh, and it just, it helps give it that nice shine. So it then looks more um, finished, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So just tuck everybody in. They don't always want to stay in. You got to kind of fiddle with them a little bit. But yeah, there's no real, I'm not measuring, I'm not, I'm not exact. That's not news if you've been watching me for a minute. Um, but yeah, so that's how I do it. So then I'll just uh, repeat the process with the rest of these guys and uh, I'll have a whole bunch of bird's nests. So thanks for watching. Good evening, everyone. So <laughs> I know this is busy. Um, let's let's pull it back for a second. So we're starting off with this design tonight. So I have made these very cute little soap dough nests with little soap dough eggs, and I wanted to feature them in a design that kind of made sense. So what we're gonna do is we're going to it's gonna be a double layer soap. So we're taking technically two loaves at once. We've got the ground, which is going to be this kind of bright, cheerful green. We're going to do drop swirls with these colors here, mini drop swirls for flowers. Um, then we are going to put our two trees. It's kind of wambly looking. That's what these logs are over here. And then we're going to fill in our sky. And then I'm going to fill in the blue, the actual green part of the tree. And then we're also going to do in some um, drop, mini drop swirl green leaves inside the trees. And then we're going to put our nests and then we are going to pipe leaves around our nests. So um, yeah, hang on to your hats. This is going to be a long video and a long evening of soap making. Um, but it's been a minute since I've done something a little bit more complex like this. And I thought it would be fun. So here we go. So first we're going to add our lye solution. This is slightly larger amount of soap than I normally make. Um, you guys are used to seeing me using my tall and skinny from Nurture. Um, this is actually a double tall and skinny from Workshop Heritage. Uh, and it's not quite as tall and skinny as my Nurture molds are. Um, but I didn't want these too tall because I wanted to make the bars a little wider so the nest would have a place to live. Let's get this blended. And that was my goat milk going in. If you're new to the channel, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, they're not normally this crazy, my soaps, but um, I'm not going to lie and pretend that I don't, norm I don't go crazy sometimes. I just wanted to get it to emulsion because I've got quite a bit of layers and I don't want this to totally um, set up on me. Um, and I'm using a fragrance that I love um, tonight that many of you have also raved about, which is um, Blueberry Thyme from Brambleberry. Uh, it's a well-behaved fragrance. It doesn't really do too many naughty things. Do I have it right here? Yeah, it says behaves well. Um, it does discolor to tan. So when you use it, I find you have to fight with it just a little bit. It's not like a, it's not like a brown or like ugly. It's just, it's, it's tan. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and pour off our little colors here for the leaves and such. And I think I'm going to use a cup first because just kind of helps, um, helps it get along. And then when I go to actually do the rest of it, I won't be sitting here panicking going, oh my God, what do I need to put into there? So, and if you are noticing my adorable sleeves, these are my new farmer's armor sleeves and I am obsessed with them because they have like pretty flowers and 
Sorry, I said Farmer's Defense, not Farmer's Armor. They changed their name and it's messing with me. Look at all my pretty, my pretty things. All right, guess enough with that. Let's get this mixed. So these cups are 10 ounce cups. I got them off Amazon um, specifically because they were exactly 10 ounces. Oh, that just went right through. It's annoying. Look, I put my little bags in there and it just kind of went right through. Well, cleaning this one up is going to be fun. It's my problem with using recycled materials sometimes. Sometimes they're extra recycled. All right, hopefully the rest of these will be steady, but if not, that's okay. How about you? Are you behaving? All right, you're behaving. That's good. Good job. Head of the class. Okay. Um, anyway, so these sleeves, uh, I saw an ad on, I want to say it was Facebook. Um, but before, oh no, this one went through too. Boo. Uh, before I saw the ad on Facebook, one of my one of my friends, her name is Mary from Hanson Soapery, uh, mentioned it to me and she was like, hey, have you seen these? And I was like, no, I have not, but I would like to see them. So she's the one who started it and I bought a couple pairs and I love them. They're so comfy and are you going to be naughty? No, you're going to be good. Of course you're going to be good. Go figure. All right, do I have enough? Since these are already the open ones, we'll just add a little bit more to this because these will be the leaves. The flowers, I don't need to do as much, but there's gonna be quite a few leaves. So let's pour that off. Okay. Is that too many leaves, maybe? No. No such thing. Guys, about even? A little bit more. Anyway, so I bought them, loved them. I still love them. Um, and I actually reached out to the company more because I, <laughs> I was greedy and I wanted more patterns and colors and because I had cute ones. I still have them, but I don't want to mess up my little thing. I like my little like seaweed looking ones the best, I think. And um, just asked them if they would ever consider, you know, if they did any kind of promotional stuff. Um, because I feel that if I really like something, then I don't mind sharing it with all of you. But if I don't really like it, then I'm not sharing it. So all I'm doing off screen is I'm just dumping the color into these guys and taking these away because I didn't need all of it. And now we are going to just put our little caps on. Anyway, so they said, yes, we're coming out with no, more colors. And yes, we have opportunities. Um, so, you know, fill out this form and maybe we'll we'll say yes. So they did say yes. So here I am talking about them more. Um, I would have bought these anyway because I love this design on these sleeves. They're so stinking cute. All right, come on, go on. And what normally happens with these little bags that you see me and he use in here is they come in our in the packing um amazon a couple other places little air pillows and it's just nicer to use these versus i don't know like cutting up a plastic bag or whatever else like i already feel like soap making is one of those like dirty dirty but somehow cleaning clean activities and uh so i don't like to um I don't like to waste more than I have to, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So uh, that's what I use to put inside those. It lines them, uh, which is nice because if you've ever cleaned these things out, uh, you know it's heinous and nobody has a good time. So um, I will need Lisa over here with her tidying up video. Hi, Lisa. Um, to save me later on because I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate my life trying to clean all this up. Okay, so now that these guys are all in here, we'll give them a little shake just to get their color blended. The nice thing about not having them in the bags is that I can see how blended the color is. So um, that's, that is a little handy, but again, cleaning these up is going to be H-E double hockey sticks. I'm not looking forward to that. Just shake them up until they're all blended. Come on, naughty thing, get in there. Okay. And then 
these guys because they have the bag. I put my finger over the top and you just squish it. Oh, and sometimes it squishes out again. Naughty critter. I need un towels, del paypal. There we go. I know it's not how you actually say paper towel. Just let me, let me be myself. Let me be silly. Like you could stop me. I mean, this is the internet. And by the time you guys have all seen this, I have made the soap a long time ago. I mean, maybe I'll be better this time. Probably not though. I'll probably still, you know, make it and then like not talk about it for weeks on end because that's what you do when you make a lot of content, I guess, which is frustrating in and of itself. Okay. So now we've got our flowers, put them off to the side and we've got our leaves that off to the side. And now we need to make our base little area here. So we are going to give you a mix because you're starting to set up because that's what my recipe does. And grab a container. Probably gonna want a little bit more than that, but let's start there. And we'll add in our fragrance oil. Okay. And you may be wondering why I didn't fragrance the little bags. Um, there's just not a whole bunch of soap in there. And I, yes, it helps it behave a little bit. because this fragrance is very well behaved. You can see it loosening up my batter. Um, but at the same time, I don't, I don't feel like it's enough to make a difference. And I'd rather put the fragrance where I can see it, if that makes any sense. Um, this fragrance has a really good usage rate. It's very safe, but it's still nice to see it versus just kind of dumping it in and hoping. So we'll do that. Nice, pretty, cheerful, bright green. If you're wondering what I'm doing with those two greens off to the side, um, when I pipe the leaves on top of the tree, I want them to match. So I've just left those greens there to remind me to use those. Okay. Go ahead and pour this in. I need more of it, but I don't want to knock this. Let's move you over here. Good. All right, so now we'll get the rest of this guy in. Okay, and now we will do our pretty flowers. And the more pressure you use, the more, the more, the deeper this will go. So it's nice to kind of use a little bit of pressure to make that kind of sink in because I'm looking for a little, not that, no thank you. I'm looking for little flowers to decorate it. And yes, wildflowers come in other colors aside of these, but come on. Because I'm doing kind of these blues and other colors, I didn't want to get too crazy with it.
And I'm just trying to get this batter to loosen back up again, which it has there, which is great. Okay. We are going to place our trees. I want you here. Oh, it's just sinking down. I have to roll with it. A lot more sky than I intended, but that's all right. so annoying there's so much in there that i am not using Ugh. all right we'll get that in a second all right so now let's clean up since i was in a hurry now i could have made my life a lot easier and done this in stages did i no will i next time also probably no um because i time is you know of essence right so now we are going to start this. This is my piping recipe. Um, it's different from my regular one because it's got basically 90% hard oils. Um, and I'm just gonna get it mixed and hit it with a stick blender and then color it, fragrance it, and put it in the piping bags um, so it can start setting up. So once we put our nests on, then we can do the top with all of our little leaves, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me. I guess it's all it has to make sense to because, you know, 
I'm the one making the soap because you guys, again, haven't seen this yet. Give it a couple pulses with the stick blender. So now it looks like it's emulsified. It is not, that is a lie. Let me get some cups. And all I'm gonna do is just color it now while it's really loose. Because obviously it's gonna take the color better now. And then I will also give it just a dash of fragrance oil, not much. And you know what, let's give another highlight color. How about you? Yeah, we can use you. And I'm just, I'm just trying to think ahead, like what will be interesting when I'm, whenever I make designs that are this complicated, I like to kind of chew on what could be more natural. And while I realize that trees don't necessarily have eight different colors of green in it, they're not usually one shade. I mean, even if the leaves are uniformly one shade, like the sun hits them at different angles and that's a different color or, um, you know, the light or whatever. There's just a million different reasons why it's not always the same color. So I like, I like that variance. I like, I like to have a little bit of that difference in it. So it's this one, I'm going to do you. I'm going to probably add a little bit more to that guy over there. Is there anything left in this one? I think I did a pretty good job scraping them out. Oh, okay. Let's get you blended real quick. And all I've done is I've got um, two leaf tip molds or two leaf tip um, piping tips. And I'll just use those. Um, it's not rocket science. I mean, a million different people can show you how to pipe leaves. Um, I learned from a couple different cupcake places, um, mostly Carrie's Bouquets. Um, it's like bouquet, but cake, oh cake, uh, which I think is just ridiculously cute. So, um, I recommend her stuff. I learned quite a bit. Um, how much of you do I have left? Like just the little babyest bit. Tuck that into there too. Um, anyway, so when I have people asking me like, oh, how did you learn to do that? Like I, I taught myself. Um, I was actually really afraid of piping for a long time. And I don't know why, I think it was my recipe. Like I try to use it and like, it just would fail and I would just have this crappy product everywhere. And that sucks, especially when it's soap and it's expensive. But um, I kind of fiddled around and made a recipe. And actually my sister mentioned something to me when we were talking about soap. She's like, oh, hey, I bet this recipe, cause I usually use this recipe for embeds. And she's like, I bet that, rest, that embed recipe would be good for your, good for piping. And I was like, yeah, you know, I thought about it. And and she'd been making cakes for forever. And I, I just never, I skipped that step of being a lady, I guess. I don't know. I never did that. And um, so I tried it and I'll be gosh darn, it worked great. And I love it. And I'm really happy I tried it because I really enjoy it. So that's my little, don't be afraid to pipe. If I can do it, you can do it. I never did it before. I'm not some professional baker. Like I know there's a lot of soap makers who are like, yeah, I, I made cakes for, you know, since the dawn of time and I've made a million perfect flowers. And like, oh God, like I don't hate you because like some of these people are people I adore, but the other side of me is like, oh, why are you so amazing? And have done all these cool things. And I don't know, I was like catching bugs or something. I wasn't piping cakes. So just a little FYI there. 
And yes, you saw me add that into there. Um, it's all going to the same place and that likes to set up. So I'm gonna let these set up and in the meantime, we will uh, get our little nests on here, but give me one second, I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit more. Thank you. 